he has the intestines in his bowl with a sign that says touch if you dare touch the brain if you dare they got it wrong too remember when i first called it a brain it's not a brain it's disgusting intestines all right i'll try to touch it guys we are in Dayton Ohio store number 87 I believe this spirit Halloween right here I do not know what this was but it was an absolutely enormous store maybe elder Beerman or something that is an enormous sign up there I know I say that all the time which of these doors will be open? Will it be this one? You tell me, miss. Will it be this one? It is this one. All right, wow. This looks like another absolutely enormous store, guys. How cool is this? This one's a little bit busier than the last one we were in. It's a little bit louder, so it's not so spooky. But we do have Mr. Grimm up here, and it appears that his head is maybe broken. It looks like it's cocked to the side or something. I'm sorry, sir. Did some idiot punch you? And look over here. It, it's a totally different setup than in other stores. Over here, we have the sitting scarecrow. And look at this. He has the intestines in his bowl with a sign that says, touch if you dare. Touch the brain if you dare. They got it wrong too. Remember when I first called it a brain? It's not a brain. It's disgusting intestines. All right, I'll try to touch it. There we go, mister. You gotta love the sitting scarecrow. And we have this little inflatable guy over here. Let's turn him a little bit so he can greet people coming in a little bit better. There he goes. He's only like four feet tall or something, but he's still pretty cool. You gotta love an inflatable pumpkin stack. Let's go back over here for a second because it appears that Mr. Grimm is the only animatronic that they have going on around this whole setup over here. They even have already gotten rid of the bubble tubes of death. We do have spooky cubes over here, though. And we have jumping spiders. There's always a plethora of jumping spiders. All right, let's go ahead and walk over this way, guys. It's getting kind of interesting to see how these stores look now because it's getting down to the end of the season, and so they are selling out. And with that in mind, they've already sold Monty. Either that or he broke, and so he is just no longer existent all right let's keep on going let's go see if we can find any animatronics on the floor for sale in here anywhere i don't know if this store goes around and it doesn't appear this is all like one big cove back here so i think we're gonna have to go this way to see the other side of the store and see if there's any animatronics for sale. Back over here past that crazy guy. And let's see. Okay, now we're getting into the meat of things. Here's all the masks. And the masks even stretch all the way around here. And wait a minute. We'll be there in a second. Look at this guy here. I love this mask right here. You know what this reminds me of, guys? It reminds me of the Scooby-Doo movie. The ghost at the very beginning of the Scooby-Doo movie. I think I just might buy that today. That is pretty dang cool. I'm sure that's not what it's supposed to be, but uh, but it's pretty cool anyway. I don't know. We'll think about it. All right, let's go see Mr. Nazi because he's over here making noise. I hear you. Your nozzles are not lighting up, sir. Look how he's like leaning forward. He looks like he's about to fall over. What the heck? Very strange. Oh, and I do see that he has a spooky brick down here. And he has intestines. What the heck? How did that get down there? Excuse me, sir. I think you lost something. They do have two nozzles in stock and a deadly creeper over here. Oh, look at this. They also have the deadly creeper set up. This is the only the second time that we've seen the deadly creeper set up, like actually sitting down on the ground instead of up on the wall because usually he's like over here outside the tunnel right up in here 
actually on the other side, I think. But it is funny how he's on the ground here. And look at this enormous guy. This is one of the inflatables that I keep saying that I might want to buy, but I can't make up my mind. Seeing him standing here inflated makes me want him even more, because he is pretty dang big, guys. And he does look pretty dang cool. Look at that. <laughs> He's pretty awesome. All right, let's go ahead back over here and let's go through the electrical tunnel of death because I hear it in here going absolutely ballistic. There's not even anybody else in here, but it's going crazy. I do see where the floor is gone. So the floor is not gonna be shaking, but these are electrocuting like crazy. Why are you electrocuting so crazy like, or at least you were? And now you are again. <laughs> and look at this, guys. They only have one of these fans where the tunnel usually has two. That's very awkward. All right, let's keep on looking, see what we can find. Maybe we can find some zombie babies or secret keeping cats somewhere around here. Wait a minute, look at this. Okay, hold on. We'll go over here in a second, but look at this. We got two punchies right here. We got two creepy crimson girls on swings. We got sinister dolls over here. And look at what we have over here, guys. It's the animated greeter doll that is the lady. Have we seen her in stores this year? Maybe we have, now that I look at her again. She only has one eye, and you guys know what that means. She read the map wrong. We got another deadly creeper here, another swinging witch. We have tons of sinister spirit dolls over here. Let's head back over this way, guys, because we have to take a look at these creepy dolls. We have a pumpkin nester. Hello, sir. We have an eerie Emma. Hello, miss. We have one, two uh, hugs the clown dolls. Hello, sir. And we do have some zombie babies here. Instead of just seeing this guy who we've been seeing in just about every single store, we also have Ravenous Ruby here. And how strange, she actually has all her eyes. <laughs> okay, let's come on over this way and see if we can find any of them secret keeping cats. Let's see, where would they be? I see plenty of spiders. We've not really looked at these this season, but there are always a ton of these in stock. These hairy guys, we got brown ones and we got black ones. Wait a minute, guys, look what I see over here. It is the hook head hog. I wonder if they have the hook eye guy in here somewhere. How much is the hook head hog? Let's see, come on there. He is $34.99, the hook head hog. I'm gonna regret not buying him if I don't. Oh look, Mike Tyson must have got a hold of him. All right, let's come back over here because I am still on the search for the secret keeping cats. I haven't even seen any of the creeping cats in here yet. Well, they are not over here and that's good because the music is super loud over here. I do not see them here. However, I do see one of my other favorite things, the bumpy, spooky pumpkin pathway markers. And those are totally awesome. I love how you can hear the werewolf howling in the background. Mr. Howl! They do have a Reaper up here, and I saw him blown up the other day, and I really want him. All right, Reaper, I believe today's the day. I probably should get one of these little misses pretty soon, too, before they're sold out. Let's come back here one more time and look at this giant inflatable skeleton, because I think I do want to buy him, although I don't see him in the store except for blown up right here. And I don't want to buy the one off the floor, because I want the box to come with him and everything. Let's leave some stickers for Nazi while we're here. All right, let's see, guys. They do have the Scary Ted mask, the Jack Skellington. They got the Lock mask and the Shock mask here, if you can see him. But I do not see Barrel. Let's just take one more walk around. Hold on. They do have the five-foot Beetlejuice snakes, which took a while to get into the stores, but now they're pretty much in every store that I go in. They do have the vampire and the devil door knockers, as well as the vintage masks. Hanging Sams and hanging ghost faces. And let's just take one more walk back through this cove here. 
see if there's anything we are missing. You never know. Sometimes they put out the animatronics and different things like the Hello Rat just sitting around the store in various places. I don't see any of that going on, however. Let's look over here just for the heck of it in case they have a shrunken head. And they don't. All right, guys, let's make our way out. I am going to get the Reaper. If you want to see me blow this up, make sure you go over and subscribe to my other channel, That Nate Guy on Halloween, because that's where I'm going to be doing most of the stuff with the things that I bought at these stores. Mm -hmm.